Welcome to the presentation of Sage Acpac Business Analysis Suite. Today we'll take a look at the tools that will help you drive your business in the right direction. Before we begin, it is important for you to understand that the presentation that you're about to see only covers the standard features and functionality of Acpac Business Analysis Suite. This presentation is not intended to serve as the sole basis for your purchasing decisions. You should contact your local solution provider to obtain further information. If you do not have a local solution provider, contact information will be provided at the end of this presentation. Business Analysis Suite is a set of powerful financial diagnostic tools that helps you identify the impact of every business decision before you act. Instead of rowing harder in the wrong direction, Business Analysis Suite will help you steer your business in the right direction. Business Analysis Suite is made up of three components. CFO, the Comprehensive Financial Optimizer, is the main component. KPI, Key Performance Indicator, and BA, the Business Advisor, are optional components. All three of these together create a powerful financial diagnostic tool, but can be used separately if needed. First, we'll take a look at CFO. This is the financial tool that's designed for any financial advisor. Really, it's designed for anyone who is in charge of steering their company in the right direction. It is integrated with ProERP or ACPAC ERP. It's a business evaluation tool. You can analyze what impacts your decisions have on your business before you really apply those decisions to your business. We can do what if scenarios. For example, what if my revenues grow to 20%? How does this impact my business? You may also want to look at how your decisions impact your cash flow. So does your decisions have a positive impact or a negative impact on cash flow? Basically, you want to establish strategies to move your business forward in the right direction. The roll forward capabilities allow you to predict what your business will look like next year. The key thing about CFO is that it allows you to build strategic business models. You can create as many models as you need and analyze them to come up with the right business decisions for your company. That's why CFO is such a great tool for anyone who wants to manage their business. Next, we have the option of using KPI. KPI allows us to use the strategic business models we created in CFO and feed them into KPI to do further analysis. KPI allows us to evaluate the before and after results by looking at where my company is now and where I want to go in the future. The difference between KPI and CFO is that CFO allows us to only view a single business scenario at a time, whether that's my current situation or my business goals. But what KPI allows me to do is view both of my business models side by side. I can look at the variance between my current situation and my desired goals and analyze what changed or what I need to change to reach my target. There are three key functions for KPI. The variance report allows me to compare up to four models from CFO. I can analyze a percentage or a dollar variance. The compare models will allow me to compare up to 20 CFO models side by side. The compare years allows me to compare up to 20 years and see how my decisions affect my business in the future. And finally we have the option of business advisor. This will produce a plain English report that is easy for all to understand. So when you finish creating your business plans in CFO and analyzing it in KPI, you can then pull it into Business Advisor and it will generate a professional looking financial report in plain English. This is a great report that can even be taken to any lender when you're trying to negotiate more financing for your business. At this point, we'll move on to the demonstration where I'll show you CFO, KPI, and Business Advisor. I'll first start with ACPAC CFO to build my business models. Before I can do anything, I need to load my data. If I wanted to, I could manually key in my income statement and balance sheet data. But CFO also gives me the option of importing my data from an Excel spreadsheet, or I can easily import my data from ACPAC ERP or Pro ERP. We'll take a look at importing my data from ACPAC ERP. You'll notice I have import options for Advantage Series and Pro Series. These two accounting systems were recently renamed to ACPAC ERP and Pro ERP. For this example, I'm going to load data from my ACPAC ERP company. 
Once I've logged in, this will prompt me to select one of my pre-existing maps that I've created for CFO. Mapping allows me to map my ACPAC account groups to pre-configured CFO account groups. I can select a starting account, but leaving it blank will bring in all of my accounts from my accounting system. I need to select the year that I want to analyze. I'm going to select 2010 in the month of May. I can include zero balance accounts and provisional balance accounts. This brings in all of my accounts with amounts from last year and this year. Because I've used my pre-configured map, CFO has already mapped my accounts from my ACPAC groupings to my CFO groupings. Now the names for my CFO grouping are static and cannot be changed. And at this point, I can change my CFO mapping by selecting a different CFO group. I can analyze my business by any account segment by setting up filters. In my case, I have a divisional segment and a regional segment that I can apply filters to. I'll move to the next step without setting up any filters. So once I proceed through it'll load my data into CFO. I can now start analyzing my numbers for my accounting system. I can save this model and open it up any time in the future when needed. I'll open up a model that I previously saved as my current situation. You'll notice that all of my CFO business models have an OPT extension. Once loaded I can see my income statement and balance sheet. My income statement shows me my current year figures and my prior year figures. My balance sheet also shows my current year figures and my prior year figures. But with income statements and balance sheets, they don't really show me what drives my business. Even with a financial background, it can be difficult to identify problems with my business when viewing just the balance sheet and income statement. We can see that the numbers presented in this format do not truly indicate what drives my business. With ACPAC CFO, all I need to do is click on my strategy tab and get to my one screen financial scorecard. This screen is broken down into what drives my business, the numbers behind my business for the current period are presented in the middle of the screen, and all the performance measures are presented on the right hand side of the screen. Let's start with the business drivers. It is divided into three main areas. The income statement profitability drivers. In the middle we have our average cost and debt to tax ratios. And at the bottom we have the balance sheet drivers. The results on the right hand side reflect how we manage those business drivers. These results are also divided into three main areas. At the top we have our profitability results. In the middle we have our working capital and risk management results. And at the bottom we have our cash flow and the return on capital employed results. When I first looked at my income statement and balance sheet, I couldn't tell if my business was performing well or performing bad. But now that I'm looking at the strategy tab, I can see that my cash flow is almost negative $326,000. For me, this doesn't look good. At this rate, I'm going to continue to borrow to fund my business. This is really not the way I want to grow my business. Now, without thinking about it, I might believe that I could fix my cash flow by increasing my revenue. Well, with ACPAC CFO, I can do what if scenarios, and I can adjust my drivers to see how they impact my results. Let's look at my revenue driver in the profitability area. I'll change my revenue growth to 20%, believing that if I sell more, I'll make my cash flow better. But after making that change, if you look at my cash flow, you'll notice that it's gotten worse. Now there's obviously some cash wastage, but I really can't pinpoint it on this screen. What I'll do, I'll look at the analysis report screen. CFO has an analysis area where I can view a variety of reports. One of the reports I want to view is a cash report. This report shows me how much money is being absorbed into AR and inventory. I also have a cash wastage report that I can look at under my key indicator tab. This report shows me my increases and decreases and basically shows me my wastage. Clearly we can see that a lot of cash is being wasted in accounts receivable. So I guess if I wanted to fix my cash flow problem, I need to focus in on my accounts receivable. Alright, let's go back to that strategy tab. I'm going to try to make my days receivable better. I'm going to reduce my days receivable from 70 days to 60 days. Look at what happens when I do that. You'll notice my cash flow went from a negative $326,000 to a negative $226,000. That's a $100,000 improvement. By making a change to the days receivable driver, this will definitely affect a few other areas. If I want to see the areas affected, I simply have to click on the net change button, which will show me all the areas that were affected by this driver. This gives me a clear understanding if I'm negatively or positively affecting areas in my business. And if I truly want to apply some of these strategies that I'm creating, I most likely have to convince my customers to pay sooner 
or maybe I would have to hire a part-time person to help do a better job of collecting. But at the end, I will definitely improve the way my business performs. At this point, I can continue to change any of my drivers, see how these drivers affect my business so I can obtain the desired results for my business. Basically, I'm doing what-if analysis by changing my drivers day in, day out. Now, I can do what-if analysis all day. They're great to do. But if I don't want to do that all day long, I can do something else. I can actually do what we call a gold seek option. Now, the gold seek option allows me to set my results to where I want my business to be, and then I can adjust those drivers that affect the goals that I'm seeking. If we look at the cash flow goal, I may want to change that from this negative $326,000 to a positive $50,000 goal. After making that change and hitting the enter key, CFO takes me to the goal seeking screen. The goal seeking screen shows me where I'm starting at, what my goals are, the positive $50,000, and it basically tells me how much progress I've made so far. And at this point, I haven't done anything, so there's no progress. Now, the left hand side has a thermometer that gives me a visual indication of every time I get closer to my goal. My drivers are arranged from the most sensitive at the very top to the least sensitive driver at the bottom. I have more control over making changes to my least sensitive drivers at the bottom and less control over the changes I can make to my most sensitive drivers at the top. The from column shows me where I'm at now and the solve column gives me a suggestion of what I need to change to reach my entire goal. If I change any one of these drivers to the suggested value in the solve column, this will definitely solve my problem for cash flow. But in reality, I truly can't just change any one of these drivers to reach my desired goal. It's going to be a combination of changes to get to my desired goal. Now I'm going to go ahead and make some minor changes to some of my drivers to reach my goal of $50,000. I'll start off at the bottom with payables where I have more control. I'm going to add an additional five days to my payables. I've talked to some of my vendors and they're okay with me taking a little bit more time making those payments. Now if I take a look at my overhead, I figure we're going to be able to cut $100,000 off of that because we're going to add some more efficiencies to my business. And the days receivable, I think we can be able to cut that down to 60 days from 70 days. So I'm going to take 10 days off of that. We've taken a look at our inventory control and we realized we didn't have to keep so much inventory in the warehouse. So we've decided to cut that down by 25 days. Now as I've made these changes, you should have noticed that thermometer kept rising until I reached my entire goal. It's actually surpassed my goal and now I have a $52,000 in cash flow. If I'm happy with the strategy for my cash flow goal, I can accept this. So now that we're back to my strategy tab, you notice my cash flow is $52,000 positive and I don't have to borrow as much money as I did before. Now we've just looked at the goal seeking and we've looked at how we can change our strategy to improve our business performance. CFO also offers a graphical view. The graphical view allows you to focus on one particular result and only show the areas that impact that result. The graphical view can be accessed by clicking the graphical view toolbar or by selecting graphics from the view menu. On the graphics view screen, I can select any of the results I want to view by clicking the buttons on the right. I can perform what ifs and goal seeking in this view. This gives you the option of using the view that best suits you. CFO also has an analysis view area that contains six reports. The reports allow you to better understand your business's performance. They are the marginal report, the cash wastage report, cash report, profit to cash, variance report, and the sustainable growth cycle. And the sustainable growth cycle shows that for every hundred dollars that I make, I have a shortfall of thirteen dollars. Not really good for my business. So at this point, I'm pretty happy with the strategy that I've created for my business. So I'm going to go ahead and save this business model. And now let's take a look at KPI and do some further analysis of my data. Remember I said we can use KPI, but we need the CFO models as the input to KPI. Now what KPI does is allows us to compare those CFO models side by side. We can take a look at a variance report, a compare models, and a compare years. I'll first take a look at the variance report and I'll load the model for the current situation that I was in and I'll also load the model for the solution I created in CFO. This compares the numbers for my current situation and the solution that I created. I can look at this in a percentage value or I can easily change this to a dollar value if needed. 
I can view the differences between the two models all the way down to my drivers and my results area. Basically it shows me what I changed, how much I've changed it, and how the changes will affect my business. When I finish I can save this comparison, close it out, and go to another option in KPI. Now the compare models is basically the same as the variance report. The only difference is the variance report allows me to view four models side by side, whereas the compare models allows me to view up to 20 models side by side. I'll take a look at the compare years, which will show me a projection of my CFO models up to 20 years in the future. This basically will show me how my business will perform in the next 20 years for the models I've created in CFO. I will select my current business situation and my solution that I created in CFO. I will then need to select the number of years I want to project out and I will need to select the method of projection. I'll select actual revenue growth. When this loads I can see how the strategy that I've built in CFO will play out over the next 20 years. So KPI definitely gives me the power to understand how my strategies that I've built in CFO will help my business over the long term. The Business Advisor is a tool that takes your CFO models and converts all of the financials to a set of plain English reports. When I open the Business Advisor, I need to load one of the CFO models. I'll select the solution I created earlier. I will be prompted to select the default template or any other template that I might have created. The Business Performance Report gives me a report card on how my business is doing. It also indicates how I'm doing in each area of measure by graphing out my financials and drivers and how they impact my results. The business checklist shows the areas where I have a positive or a negative change from last year. The sensitivity report shows me an XY grid of my drivers and results and highlights those areas that are affected. The financial diagnostic report is a 19-page report that encompasses all of the data from my CFO business solution. It is designed to be easy to read and gives me all of my data in a plain English report. Now this is probably the most valuable report that I have because instead of being in a meeting with a balance sheet and income statement, I can bring in a plain English report that everyone in the room can understand. This report provides a lot of information and the nice thing about this report is that it can be exported to Word where I can edit it, remove certain sections that I don't want to use, or include additional sections that I want to use during the meeting. Business Advisor truly makes financials easy for everyone to understand. So what's next? If you would like to get more information on how this product can address your critical business issues, you can contact your local solution provider. If you do not know who your local solution provider is, and you're an existing Sage customer, then you can call 1-877-237-5786. If you are not currently using Sage software product, or you're a customer for Simply Accounting, then you can call 1-877-237-5790. On behalf of Sage Software, I'd like to thank you for previewing our products.